Hi class, in this video here I want to walk you through the challenge exercises in module 3.2. This is talking about linear regression assumptions. Okay, so here's the first problem. So for a linear regression model, modeling how the selling price of a house is affected by the number of bedrooms in the house, okay, the residual is going to be defined as the difference. Okay, so here's what we're doing. We're having a model that's going to predict the selling price given the number of bedrooms. So what we know is the residual is the actual value minus the predicted. Okay, so what are we, what are we, the actual value we're looking at? We're looking at the actual value or the actual selling prices of homes in the data set. And it's gonna be the difference between that and the um, selling price predicted by our specific regression model. Let's check. Okay, awesome, we got it. Let's see what the second one here is. Um, okay, so for each residual plot, determine whether the linear model is appropriate and if and if if not, why? Okay, so in all these cases, okay, uh, a residual plot needs to be, um, let me like to show you, something like this, okay, where it's just a, a scatter plot that has no discernible pattern, okay? If you look at all these, they each have a pattern here, okay? So for this one here, it's going to, this, this plot is going to fail the, um, assumption of uh, independence. So isn't this one here? So not appropriate independence assumption. And this one here, it's going to fail because of zero mean assumption. So we got it right. Um, let me do another one here just so you can see a different one here, just so you could see um, something like this. Okay. So for here, okay, this one here, not appropriate, and this one here, not appropriate. Here it's not appropriate because it's going to be, it's going to fail the zero, um, the mean of zero assumption. Here it is appropriate, okay, because it's, it's completely random. So that is appropriate. And this one here is also going to be because it fails the mean of zero assumption. And we got it. So I hope it, it helped me walking through and explaining to you um, uh, the, the challenge exercises in section 3.2 here. 